What is up, guys? After you, right, right in sync, right on sync, right there, right in, right on sync, man. What is up, guys? After your pro player, apathy back in the building with another YouTube video today, and today I got a, a live commentary talking about a certain subject that I think it's very important, and a lot of people always ask me day in and day out. You know, what are your plans after you quit gaming? And, you know, my time is coming closer and closer every day. You know, I, I'm not the youngest. You know, I'm, I'm considered, I guess, a veteran player. I'm 22. You know, I mean, I could still play for a year or two more. But, realistically, you know, I'm not going to be playing for that long. Not. It's not. I wish. I wish. I wish I could play till like, I'm 50. You know, this is fun. I enjoy what I do. But, obviously, everything good sometimes or at some time comes to an end. It's just the way life is, it's just the way it works. But today, like I said, I will be using the ERAD. Not shitting on people, but I will be talking about what are my plans after I quit gaming. Now, some of you guys may think, yo, Apathy, or what do you like? Are you gonna, you know, do something around gaming? Are you gonna, you know, be a caster, be a comment like something, like be an analyst? Like what are you gonna you know, are you gonna do something along those lines? And realistically, I don't know. I mean, I would sort of like to. But, I don't know, you know, when you're in gaming, you're obviously, there's a lot of sacrifices, you're obviously always flying around, always going to these events, and, you know, when you're being a caster or an analyst or whatever the case is, obviously it's not as bad, you know, the amount of practice you put in, you know, the work that you have to do, I mean, there's probably different work, but it probably isn't as bad as being a pro player, obviously, but, you know, maybe I, I don't want to have that life anymore you know i want to have my free time you know work my hours and i'm set you know like maybe i don't want that like that's another thing when i look at it like like i don't want to say necessarily a normal life but it's just gaming is a whole different life compared to you know like being a having a regular job i guess because we know we, we tend to have more sacrifices we tend to put in more time and it's just the way how gaming works so i don't know you know if i would whole, want to go into the whole casting you know analyst situation or maybe just work for MLG or some sort of, you know, job like that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it is an option and it's something I'm thinking of doing. I'm not going to, you know, sit here in bush and say no. But, like I said, it's not really at the top of my list at the moment. It's more like in the middle. And before I continue this, I want to put on some infusion. Because <laughs> that thing is hella nice in pubs. But, yeah, that's kind of like one of, the, one of my thoughts. Also, I do, I'm about... Oh, guys right there i'm about two to three classes away from my associates which is like the first degree you get in college uh, i never finished it like i said I've, i was always so close to getting it and then i just got lazy and i just didn't really want to put time into it anymore and i basically like you know quit college but i'm like two three classes away from my associates so i could easily get that and then i could work my way which i plan to get within the next year or so or the next year or two or so i definitely plan to get my associates you know finish that but and then maybe work my way to bachelor's or maybe just get a job like I said with MLG or something like that but some school is definitely something I'm looking you know looking at something that I'm probably gonna go back to and finish up uh, do you need to go to school to get certain jobs and like to be a, you know a caster all these things not necessarily so it really depends on what I'm feeling but honestly if you guys want me to be completely honest with you guys kinda like my dream and like sort of my dream job I guess in a way in a sense is I just want to do what I'm doing now. I want to continue to do it for years and years and years and slowly, you know, expand to other things and maybe own my own team. You know, I think Nate Shot leads a very good example. You know, something like Nate does. I mean, he kind of owns 100 Thieves, even though they don't really have a competitive team at the moment. They have more like a streaming team and whatnot. But uh, he's a great example. You know, he, he he's doing very well on YouTube. He, he like vlogs a lot, does his YouTube videos. You know, he's very, really big on streaming and the gaming, holds in the gaming world in general. And, you know, he's just really successful. And that's something, you know, I would love to do. Uh, I mean, I, my YouTube isn't the biggest, my streaming isn't the biggest, and goddammit, kinetic armor is really annoying. <laughs> but that is something I would definitely love to do. And that's probably, like, my dream job, I guess you can say, to stay in this gaming world, this competitive scene, and not necessarily be a, a competitor anymore, you know, like a player, obviously, but just continue to do YouTube, stream once in a while, or just be a big streamer. I don't know, I probably prefer YouTube over streaming, even though streaming is hella fun, but you know, as time, when you get older and stuff, like, I don't know, I don't know about streaming, but, you know, something along those lines, and just, and just have a ton of fun and enjoy life, and... You know, it's it's not going to be easy, and obviously I have to build that, and I have to really, you know, work hard for it, sort of how Nature did. And, you know, I try, you know, I, I did put in a lot of effort and time and uh, just to win champs, 
and I really put aside YouTube and streaming and everything. If I was, you know, working on streaming YouTube during that time period for about one or two months, where I was just really focused on champs and getting better, uh, that would I probably would have a bigger streamer, a stream and a bigger YouTube right now. But you know, I I took what what was more important, which was winning and winning the biggest event so far. But overall, you know, that's something I definitely would love to do. You know, I'm, I've been really taking into consideration of vlogging more, making maybe more day in the life video. I'm really putting the time. Obviously, it may hurt my social life or my daily life. You know, I might not be able to stream more. You know, I might have to make more sacrifices. But if that's what I need to do, then that's what I need to do. Like, making day in the life videos and vlogging a lot, it's a lot more difficult for a pro player, especially someone who, you know, practices almost every night and plays for hours, six to eight hours a day minimum. You know, it's very difficult to to really work on that and build that. But I'm willing to put in the time and sacrifices and, you know, I was thinking of making a, a series of just like life of a pro player and like vlog every day and you know obviously you know put some scrims in there not when I put scrims I mean like a quick like 10 second clip maybe and like just me scrimming and whatnot and like really go hard and re really make like really top high quality vlogs like stuff that would take me like one to two hours of editing every single day like almost two hours of editing every single day but that's just an idea it's something you know if i'm really want to take this serious and you know change it up and do something differently and something you guys would like then i'll definitely probably end up doing it but for now it's just a thought you know um i do have my wedding honeymoon pretty much in a couple days and i won't be able to really focus on anything so until then you know i'm just brainstorming a little bit see what you guys would like but yeah that's that's basically like my dream my dream i mean in general i just want to be successful obviously you know it's very important to be successful in life and have a good career and you know having enough money to support you and your family and you know you, the family you have you know everyone ends up having a family with their child and obviously and everything and that that little that little kill streak is so freaking annoying but uh you know realist now now that's like kind of my dream thing but not come back to reality realistically it's something a little far-fetched it's not impossible you know Doug uh, I consider him a very good friend one of the homies uh, obviously he invested so much time in it you know he put in so much work he collabed with a lot of the people like FaZe and everyone and he was just he he lived right next to them so that was like amazing for him and um you know he did it you know he has a very successful YouTube channel and he really grinded and really put in the time and you know I'm really happy for him so it's not, it's not like you, you know, know I'll tell my damn this could be there what the fuck where the fuck this guy oh he's joining the game okay that's why I was like what the hell this guy just come from I thought everyone muted but um yeah he's a very good prime example of someone you know it's not impossible anyone can do it Obviously, it requires you collab. That's something I need to start doing more as well. Collabing with other YouTubers, YouTubers around you know my level, and who are willing to collab with me. Obviously, that's something that I have to invest more time in. And there's gonna be days where I can't stream early because of it, because you know I, I can't. You know they're collabing with, collabing with me. We gotta find a, a time that fits both of us, and not all the times are gonna you know fit me well, well. So that's another thing. But you know, like I said, if he could do it, you know, he's a great prime example. Anyone can do it. It just really requires the right mi mindset and time and the and the and the work ethic, and it's possible. But that's definitely something I would love to do. But in reality, you know, if things don't go too well, you know, I end up just quitting and maybe in one or two years, you know, just leaving the scene had my fun, had my time, you know, I enjoyed what I did. Uh, definitely probably school and, you know, I, I'd say working alongside with MLG and stuff, that's, I'm pretty sure, you know, that might be an option, but that's just like a toss up right now. And I don't know why everyone's AFK all of a sudden. They have like three, three players AFK? I think it was three. But yeah, and I, I really like I like I said I wish I could play forever you know what I mean like I wish I never have to quit man this is such a fun and I can I consider it a job it's, it's such a fun job and something I love doing and I'm such a competitor you know I actually had this uh, a long story short because I don't want to like speak about this for like an hour but long story short uh, I did boxing when I was younger for like almost a year when I was like 13 I think and I really loved it. I've always loved boxing. I mean, I've always loved fighting in general. I'm not, I'm not actual, like, I don't, I mean, I don't, like, go around and fighting people, obviously. I don't mean that type of fighting. I mean, just, like, you know, boxing, MMA, like, like, fighting someone, like, as a competitor. Like, another, you know, it's a competition. You know, who could beat each other's ass harder? <laughs> 
But um, I, I like that, and I always thought, you know, in the near future, you know, maybe once I'm done with gaming, I'm definitely going to take boxing classes and do boxing. Now, am I actually going to be a boxer and compete? I actually thought about doing that, but realistically, probably not. You know, it's if I would have started at an early age, then yeah, it's something I could pursue, but as and plus it's not good. Like, obviously, you know, like all the, the damage it can do to you over the years, years, years of doing it. It's obviously nothing too good, but... I'm going to continue to try to chase my dreams. I'm going to continue to work hard. I'm really going to try my best, you know, you know, get far in this whole YouTube and gaming in this gaming thing. And I'm really going to, you know, try to put more effort, you know, especially after my wedding is over. I'm really going to try to put effort, more effort to YouTube. I'm going to try to collab with more people. I'm really going to, I'm really going to try, man. I'm really going to try. On top of that, trying to be the best in IW. It's going to be hard, you know, fucking, you know, working both of them. But I'm going to try my best. But if things don't go out, go like I, like I want them to, then school or maybe MLG is going to be the other two options. You know, just it, it's just the most realistic thing. And I know I'll be fine in the end of the day. I know I'll be fine. You know, I'm I'm a man with heart and a good work ethic. Work ethic. So I'll be good. Either way, guys, thank you guys for watching my YouTube video today. I really appreciate the support. Go ahead. And make sure to smash that like. No, I'm kidding. You don't have to smash it. You can just press it. This has been your boy Afti. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Peace out, friends and pals. Good one.